Hello, my name is Mackenzie and I am a student nurse practitioner over at Youngstown State University. Today I'm here with Brad and we're going to be doing an abdominal and heart vessels assessment. I already completed his height and his weight and I did his vital signs and his pain scale score and everything will all be within the documentation. First, I'm going to start off with the heart vessels portion of the assessment. We'll begin with the upper extremities here. I'm going to go ahead and palpate his brachials. Good. And then come down here to his radial arteries. Good. And his pulses for all of them are regular. They are pliable. They are symmetrical. They are plus two in amplitude and approximately 60 beats per second upon palpation. Assessing his arms, it they do appear to be pink. They feel warm. The hair is evenly distributed. It is soft. The texture of his skin is smooth. I see no evidence of any varicosities or any muscular atrophy. There is no edema, any tenderness upon palpation? No. Good. Uh, taking a look here at his nails, I do see that his cap refill is less than three seconds and there's no evidence of any nail changes. So next I'll move on down here to his lower extremities. I'm going to go ahead and palpate his popliteal arteries. Good. And then his posterior tibialis. And his dorsalis pedis pulses. And once again, he is regular, symmetrical, pliable for contour. He's plus two for his amplitude and approximately 60 beats per second for his heart rate. Uh, once again, looking here at his skin, it is warm, it is pink, the hair is evenly distributed, it is soft, the skin is smooth in texture. I see no evidence of any varicosities, there's no muscular atrophy, no pitting edema, any tenderness upon palpation? No. Good. And then also looking here at his toenails, I see no evidence of any nail changes and his capillary refill is less than three seconds. Right, so next we'll go ahead and we'll move on up to the neck to assess the jugular and the carotid. If you can look on over to your left here for me. Good, and I can see the jugular pulsation here. It's just above that super sternal notch and over above his clavicle. Um, I do not see any evidence of distension. Next, I am going to go ahead here and I'm going to palpate both. Good. And I am able to differentiate between the jugular and carotid pulse waves. Next, I'm going to go ahead with a straight edge and measure his jugular venous pressure. And he is about two centimeters. So we'll go ahead, I'll move on over here to the other side. If you could go ahead and look over your other shoulder for me. And once again, assessing, I can see his jugular pulsation right here, just above that super sternal notch. Good. And um, I see no evidence of any distension or a JVD. Palpating, I am able to differentiate between the carotid and jugular pulse waves. Once again, I'm going to go ahead He is about like two centimeters for his jugular venous pressure. All right, so next go ahead and just look straight ahead for me. I'm going to go ahead and auscultate your carotids for any bruises using the bell of my stethoscope. Make sure I got this straight, perfect. So yeah, so using the bell of my stethoscope, go ahead and hold your breath for me. Good. Other side. Good. All right. I hear no evidence of any breweries. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll start with our inspection of the abdomen and taking a look at everything. Overall, looking at your stomach, it does appear to be pale. It has even hair distribution. There is a fine venous network that 
goes towards both the head and the feet. Um, from the head, respectively, it is above the umbilicus and for, towards the feet, I do see that it is below the umbilicus. Um, looking at the contour of your abdomen, it does appear to be evenly rounded and symmetrical. Uh, looking at your umbilicus, it also appears to be midline and it is inverted. Your abdominal surface motion is smooth and it's even with respiration. Um, if you could just go ahead and please take a big deep breath and lift your head up from the bed. Good. Awesome. So yeah, so no evidence of any, yeah, you can go ahead and breathe, sorry. No evidence of any masses, no hernias, and no separation of any muscles. Next, I'll go ahead here and I'll begin with auscultation. And while I'm listening, I'm going to go ahead, yep, yeah, once again, using the bell of my stethoscope, not only am I listening for your bowel sounds, but I'm also listening for any breweries with the abdominal aorta, the renal arteries, it's right and left, the iliac arteries, both this left and right. And I'm also going to listen to the femoral. The right and the left. Right, and I hear no evidence of any breweries. While I was listening and I was going over your bow sounds, they were a generalized normal active. They were high pitched and gurgly. So next, We'll go ahead here, we, begin, we can begin with percussion. Are you having any tenderness? No. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm just gonna do all four quadrants, working my way around. Good. And it was tympanic sounds all throughout, especially over the areas that have air within the intestines. But the one spaces that I did feel something different was the dullness when it came to his organs. Um, going over top of that gastric air bubble, it did sound, it was in the left epigastric area and it did sound tympanic, but it was slightly lower in pitch. So next I'll go ahead here, I'm going to start percussing for your liver borders. So I'm gonna start over on that mid clavicular line and percuss up until I got dullness right here. And same thing from the top down. And yeah, right about here. So let me go ahead, mark those two spots that I did. Yeah, right there. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and I'll take my tape measure and looking at the costal margin and the lower liver border, it does appear to be less than two centimeters in separation. And then also doing the entire liver span, it does appear that he's approximately nine centimeters um, for the percussion. So next here, I'm going to go ahead and percuss your spleen over here at this mid axillary line. Good, and it does sound dull on the left side. So next I'll go ahead and start palpating your stomach here. I already asked about tenderness. He said that he wasn't feeling anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly palpate in all four quadrants. Good. And it was smooth with a consistent softness. Um, there was no like muscular resistance or any masses that I could feel. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do some deep palpation. After I did the light palpation, was there any tenderness no. that you could feel? Cool. So doing deep palpation, working my way down the midline. Actually, slightly left here of midline, I am able to palpate his aortic pulsation. Um, working down, the umbilicus has no masses and the umbilical ring is round and free of bulges. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just palpate your liver border. So I'll go ahead here. I'm going to take my hand, I'm gonna lift underneath of you, thank you. 
and I'm just going to deeply palpate. Good. And the liver border is firm, it's smooth, it's even and non-tender. Also, with a little bit more palpation, I don't feel the gallbladder. And then next, I'm going to lift up and try to palpate this right kidney while I'm at it. And the kidney is also non-palpable. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm going to continue deeply palpating over on this left side. And paying special attention, I'm going to go ahead and just lift up and reach, thank you. And I'm going to deeply try to palpate your spleen that is non-palpable and move my way down your flank and the left kidney is also non-palpable. So go ahead, we're gonna try to palpate your spleen one more time if you can roll on over to your right side. Perfect, and sort of just bend your knees a little bit for me. Good, and I'm just going to push up and once again try to see if I can palpate Yeah, I do not feel his spleen is non-palpable. So, all right, so you're free to go ahead and set up here. We have one final thing, if you can go ahead and just completely move upwards. And I'm actually, for the sake of the video, if you could stand up for me and turn your back towards the camera. Good, all right, and then sort of just taking a look here at his back, I'm going to go ahead and percuss around his costal vertebral angles and I'm going to see if there's any kidney tenderness. Any tenderness doing that? No. Good. All right, so you're free to go ahead and sit back down. That pretty much completes our assessment. Do you have any questions for me? No, I think that covers everything. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for watching.